Last time on Game Wolf Plays, Gaming Wolf went through thousands of wind tunnels in an attempt to get through hell. And now, for the conclusion of episode 3, 3, 3. Dragons. Funny thing about me seeing dragons in Quake. Uh, there could have been a dragon Quake. There isn't, and yet somehow there is. We'll talk about the dragon. One of these days, if I just stop hitting my bike randomly with my face. <laughs> anyway. It's one of these penultimate dungeon levels again. And it's actually quite a level for episode 3. So we're just gonna be out the side of this fortress. Um, I'm going up here first. The reason for that is it leads to an area that goes below. Oh, there was a second guy. That leads below where this red armor is by the lava, and when I touch it, some shit's gonna spawn, including a vor. <laughs> There's plenty of vors in this level. Be extremely careful. I rec. Uh, the, um. Thunderbolt's really good on them because of the fact it activates their pain chance, which stops them from throwing their homing fucking mines at you. Blag! I know. I, I guess grabbing 10 rockets there wasn't necessary when I had 99 of 100. Yep, there it is. I th think it hit itself. I'm not sure. Anyway, be careful, man. No, you're not safe just because you're above it by a Z-axis. No, it'll, it'll fly up and get to you. I'd be extremely careful. It's like worse than a Revenant in Doom, isn't it? I guess technically, yeah. Because it does more damage than the Revenant missile ever did. As far as I know. I don't know, actually. It's also got better turning. All right, then we go up here, grab this ring. I'm gonna be invisible for a moment or so. This is a good, this is a fun level to be invisible in, actually. Especially when you see a ward in front of you, you say, nah, I don't see you. And then they don't see you. See you later. <laughs> I may as well use the thunderbolt without hesitation now. You know I will. No, the magic is fading. Where's the magic? Fade the magic, X, 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 Y. No! What was with that weird DS game? Actually, there's a lot of weird DS games that weren't even, like, I wouldn't call it independent games or just, like, mobile trash games. They were just a lot of weird games for the DS. And we. I, I like when there's weird experimental cases, even though there weren't much of anything. They didn't do things for me personally, but, you know, it introduced some ideas that people could either use or not. And I think we need we need more experimentation. People are afraid to experiment because it doesn't immediately give them what they wish. Except if you do it enough, you might find something you've never found before, which could be extremely profitable. But what do I know about thinking long term, huh? Yeah, just drop it in. How you doing? How are you doing? Over with the chainsaw and the grenade launcher. Which is worse? I don't know. Why even make him an ogre if he's gonna have... Watch this wall go down. This is a good wall. Full, filled with good people. Now I can get the yellow armor behind the gates. And, for an added bonus, there's a quad damage. Yay! All right, let's go ape shit. That wasn't an ape sound. I don't know, but these guys sound like apes. Ape escape. Actually, I kind of like the ape escape game. <laughs> At least the second one more than the first one, even. But still, that was a lot more fun than I was thinking. Thank you, Konami. <laughs> I think that was you who made that. Thank you. Did it games with monkeys are pretty cool, apparently. You can at least name three good monkey franchises, and there's probably others. So, monkeys and games probably work out well. Fact of monkey law. Alright, that's it. There's only two secrets in this whole thing. I thought there'd be more, really. That's okay. 
I take what I can get. Episode four will be laden with secrets, so you don't have to worry about that. If you're one of those secret hunters I've heard so much about. In fact, that was an idea you know, a friend came up with where we just have a segment called Secret Hunters, where we actually show you all the time it takes to actually find a secret. <laughs> if you don't have, like, any reference guides or anything, and you're just actually looking for it within the game itself, without any outside knowledge. I think a lot of people forget that a lot of early games did require outside knowledge of stuff, or at least outside tools, such as pen and paper, to write down where you have been. Especially in older RPGs. Oh yeah, you bet your ass. The nails are killing my ears! Oh no, I see a couple of whores. If it weren't for my whores, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. My whores! Fool's light! Okay. I guess I could rock with them, since I'm going in and out anyway. And there's two of these goddamn things. Yes. Creepy spider lady that shoot like it's weird like how both this and the shambler are just like you think they do one thing and they do something completely else. Yeah, that's a very oddball, this whole game, really. If you press all the buttons, Ogre's gonna come out the wall, so let's delay that a little bit. But you're gonna have to eventually. <laughs> have some platform fun with some enemies, why don't you? Woohoo! Da -na 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 -na. I feel like brood. Da -na 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 -na. So brood. Actually, no. I wonder if there was an ad for that. Was it the Snood game? So Snood. Da -da. So Snood. Da -da. For Mac. Yeah. Sadly, newer Mac stuff is just basically an offshoot of Linux or BSD, really. So it's. You don't really get, as far as I know, unique Mac games anymore. You know, back in the days of the power PC and such. Kinda sad. Oh no, such a sad, sad world. Too bad, game over. See you later, alligator. This dimension cuts like an ass. I know. Isn't it great how I can just remember lyrics when I don't have any need to? And then I screw them up on purpose? Yeah, that's the good shit. Uh, wait, was this area necessary? I, I don't actually know, but it's gonna take me to the gold door if I do it, so let's do it. Oh, it opens this door. Okay. And then it spawns that guy. Sure, why not? Just throw him in there. I don't care anymore. Then we got some scrags. Then when we go up to that place where we were earlier, but on that bridge, there's gonna be a, a, a couple more vores. Because why not? Or divorce. That divorce. Why am I going down here again? Oh, I just really wanted to be armored. I, I, yeah, I kind of should be for this last part. I mean, what you're supposed to do, I think, is to just go down and just avoid the whole situation and come back. But me, being a silly willy, want to stay up there so I wouldn't have to backtrack any more than I had to for the last level of the set. I didn't really need to do that, so I don't recommend being stubborn about it. Just dodge what you need to dodge. Come back again. Don't be like modern shooters where you have to stay in the action all the time. No. Feel free to duck and cover and run. Cowardice is the better part of valor, I'm told. It, it, you mean it's not? Anyway, no. What I'm saying is no one to fold them. <laughs> Come back. I won't fault you. That's why we have the save system to account for any unbalanced things. And, th and that's just been a thing forever. Forever! Because this is my forever, United States. Yeah, 1994. Whoa, here comes the Tootsie Vore. Here comes the Tootsie Vore. 1996 Tootsie Vore. Yeah! Whoa! Oh, shit. I'm not okay! Wow, he actually went through the... That's quite an angle you got there. 
This is probably incorrect. Goodbye. Gaming Wolf fell to his death. Shit. Well, answers my question of if I had my username in it or not. Yeah, I did. It's just... I'm not thinking of seeing a multiplayer death matches. That seems to happen more. Like, other first person shooters you think that happen, but no, it definitely happens in Quake. So, sure. Ah. I'd like to show you more of this stuff. All of that stuff. I don't know if anyone's LP'd the two mission packs. I've seen footage of it through the whole way, but LPs of it? No, I don't know. You get the shells. Now you get the shelf. Why am I doing this? I could just get out of here. I'm pr trying to prove a point here by using as much lightning ammo as I can. And there's room number three. That's... There you go. There it be. That's good. How nice the lava speaks. The charred viscera of diabolic horrors bubble viscously as you seize the rune of hell magic. Its heat scorches your hand, and its terrible secrets blight your mind. Gathering the shreds of your courage, you shake the devil's shackles from your soul and become ever more hard and determined to destroy the hideous creatures whose mere existence threatens the souls and psyches of all the population of Earth. In case you didn't know, this game's about Earth, by the way. Go to hell. Yeah. Resnor screaming for his life. Someone send them some professional help. Uh... Oh yeah, that's episode three. You want to fight about it? No. Let's move on. And now three roads have been blocked off. The the best or toughest is yet to come. I've been your I've been your host, damn wolf. Nice. And uh, I'll see you next time. We'll again start with a base level and then we'll get to what's well, called the Elder World. So, um, forget about sanity and sense. Go and get a little crazy. The game's going to throw its best and its worst at me. Amazing. See you soon.